just had a question about education. In, in the United States, education is principally paid for using property taxes, which means that municipalities and school districts that have the most money have the most resources to spend. So the question is, what is the cooperative's position on using properties, property taxes as a way in which we provide educational resources for schools? So maybe I'll jump in um, <laughs> because I was just looking at our education policy paper, which is coming out pretty soon. Um, so our position is that like what you're saying is exactly right that this is an unbelievably unjust system in which uh, children growing up in poor communities are almost automatically subject to vastly inferior educational opportunities than children growing up in rich communities. And the real thing that needs to happen to readdress that is partly what Tiara was talking about, um, a constitutional amendment uh, to the Rhode Island Constitution, the way Massachusetts has, guaranteeing a right to a quality education for every child regardless of zip code, and backing that up with specific uh, policies that will actually fund underfunded districts in poor communities that don't that aren't a able to raise enough revenue from property taxes to actually create like a functional public health care system. So it means like taxing the one percent and redistributing it to uh, poor communities uh, in order for them to be able to build up their schools and actually have like functioning education. 